Hey, how's it going? Um, I just wanted to do a lesson, kind of focus on the beginners here today. And um, I just wanted to do a really simple lesson on how to switch between two chords. And I went ahead and I just thought the A chord and the D chord would be a good example to just kind of learn how to switch between those two chords and learn it, learn kind of how to move your fingers and build like really basic rhythm skills. So with that said, I'll bring you in a little closer so you can kind of see what I'm doing and we'll get started. All right, so now that we're in a little closer here, I guess just covering uh, things one step at a time, look at how you're holding your pick and you know, maybe right now you just wanna hold it in a way that's most comfortable for you. I'm not against that technique at all, just holding it in a way that is most comfortable for you. My only rule is really that um, the pointy end of the pick it needs to point towards the strings. So however you hold it in your hand, like this is a pretty common way with two fingers here and your thumb on top, and you just aim the pointy part towards your guitar and the strings. That's a good way to, to start out. Um, it's almost like holding a pen or something. That's kind of a natural way to hold it. The way that I hold it though, and the way that a lot of more professional people who've been playing for a while hold it, is usually just between the thumb and the index finger like so. So the pointy end of the pick is you know sticking up like that past your thumb a little bit and then it's again just pointing towards the strings and your guitar. All right and try that just try strumming the open strings like that a couple times. You know, just strum across the strings try to find a way to hold it and strum that's comfortable for you. So and a basic you know a basic exercise even without just not even playing a chord like don't even worry about trying to hold a chord down right now is just you know count four slow strums over and over again just one two three four one two three four and the reason I pick four is because it's just a number that comes up a lot in music and it's the basis for very simple rhythms. So we'll stick to that today, just kind of thinking of things in sets of four strums. So here we go, let's take a look at the first chord. It's the A chord, as I had said before. And one other thing to remember now with our left hand, so don't worry about, or I'm sorry, with your fretting hand, if you are left-handed, your guitar would be flipped the other way around and you'd be using your right hand on the fretboard. But in this case, we're using our left hand. I'm using my left hand on the fretboard, so I'll just explain it in that way. But if you're left-handed, just kind of reverse the instructions to which hand. So we've got our left hand over here fretting the strings here. Now, one thing to remember with that is just to keep your fingers curved onto the fretboard. Now, what I mean by that is here, let me show you. So if you look at this, I'm keeping my fingers curved around they're not flattening out like this they're staying curved so that I can use my fingertips to press notes down because if you don't do that you don't you're not going to be able to apply enough pressure and it's not going to be it's not going to ring out as well and it's going to be harder on your hand actually I think you won't build as much finger strength so you really want to focus on just keeping a nice arch on your fingers or curve and you want to kind of use your fingertips. It doesn't have to be like the total fingertip top of your fingers, but you want to use, you know, the top of your fingers to play these chords. So let's look at the first chord. We got A. Now, with using a good curve on our finger, just put your index finger right here on the second fret of the D string. All right. So if you don't know your string names, you really need to learn those if you want to learn basic chords. But an easy way to remember them is like this. You start on your low, this big thick string at the bottom. That's your low E string. Um, and you just remember it like this. Eddie, A, Dynamite, Good, Bye, Eddie. All right? So that's E, A, D, G, B, E. One more time. E, A, D, G, B, E. So, Eddie ate dynamite, goodbye, Eddie, right? So, Eddie ate dynamite, that's D. Eddie ate dynamite, right there. 
So we're going to put our index finger right there on the second fret. Now your frets um, should be kind of obvious. Like this is the first fret area between the nut and that first metal piece. You know, this is your second fret area. Third fret area, usually people have a dot on their guitar that shows them where third fret is. And then fourth fret, fifth fret has a dot as well. So those are your fret areas. Now we're just looking at the, the uh, second fret here for the A chord. So one more time, index finger, second fret of the D string. And try to keep a nice curve on your finger. And now let's do something. Let's abbreviate this A chord. Let's, we're not going to play the full A chord for a second. So just go ahead and press that note down and then pluck it. And see if it's even ringing out. It might be, it might be doing that. So what you want to do is kind of use a little thumb pressure on the back and use pressure with your index finger and just squeeze kind of your thumb and your index finger together and try to get that to ring out. So we're just plucking just the D string on the second fret. All right. Now let's add something to that. Add your middle finger right below that on second fret of the G. Now let's go ahead and pluck just that note, second fret of the G. So Eddie, A, dynamite, good, G, all right? So we've got our index finger, second fret of the D, our middle finger, second fret of the G. Now go ahead and see if both of those are ringing out now. All right, now if they're not, look at how your hand is. Is it caving in? You know, are your fingers caving in? Or are you still keeping good arch on your fingers? So you wanna keep that good arch on your fingers, okay? Now, um, using thumb pressure on the back again. Now go ahead and if you, if you just strum this from the A string, so Eddie eight, so from the A string, that itself with just those two fingers is actually a chord. It's called the A2 chord. It's just a really great sounding, open sounding chord. All right. So just those two fingers is all you need to play the A2. So once one more time, that was index finger, second fret of the D, and middle finger, second fret of the G, okay? Those are the only two fingers. Using good arch on your fingers and strumming from the A string, you get the A2 chord, all right? Now for this exercise, you can continue just using the A2 chord if you want but let's go ahead and look at just how to get a full A chord really quick. Your ring finger needs to go right underneath your middle finger. So now you got three fingers smashed in here, all in the second fret at an angle. So it's gonna get kind of tight in there. But you go ahead and you put your ring finger right there on second fret of the B string, okay? So Eddie, A, dynamite, goodbye. So B, all right? So your ring finger is going to be on second fret there. So all together, we've got index finger, second fret of the D, middle finger, second fret of the G, and your ring finger is on second fret of the B string, and you strum from the A string down. Now, this is the hardest part about the A chord. Once you add that ring finger on, that high E string is probably going to be touching your ring finger a little bit. So this is where you have to work on your finger strength, you have to work on the chord, take your time to get it, and just work on trying to get that high E string to be able to ring out. It's easier said than done, but if you give it some time, you will figure it out. And um, you know, just keep using good arch on your fingers, that's really important. Good arch and good finger pressure. And uh, you will get calluses as well if you, you know, you keep pressing like this all day. Um, you know, and sometimes that's what it takes. You might have to spend like a whole, you know, couple hours, you know, messing around with this to try to get that to sound good. But after you get it, you'll find that things get a lot easier. So that's your A chord, all right? Now you can use A2 if you want, all right? Now we'll kind of do the same thing with the D chord. We'll look at you know, kind of an abbreviated way to play the D chord as well. So let's look at the D chord real quick. So if we look at where we are here on the A2 chord, all right, using this as a landmark to get to the D chord, that kind of helps us. So we got our index finger on the second fret of the D string right now, and our middle finger is on the second fret of the G. So that was that A2 chord. Now, 
if we just kind of relax our hand and leave your fingers kind of in that area but all you're gonna do is move your index finger down to the G string so it just goes down one string okay now your index finger is on second fret of the G that's where your middle finger was before on the A chord so A2 and then you just move your index finger down one string to the G now Let's add one more finger in on this D chord. Your ring finger, your third finger, is going to sit on the third fret. So now we're in the third fret area of the B string. So with your index finger on second fret of the G and your ring finger on third fret of the B, if you strum from the D string and you leave that high E string, just try to let that ring open. Again, using that good arch on both your fingers here thumb pressure on the back you should get it to sound like that and you can you pluck one string at a time alright so that's kind of an abbreviated way to play the D alright now all we have to do to get a full D chord at this point is put our middle finger down on the second fret of the high E so now we've got index finger second fret of the G ring finger third fret of the B and your middle finger is second fret of the high E so now if we strum from the D string alright should sound like that alright so now here's where it gets fun alright here's where it gets fun let's try a basic rhythm really slow switching between Let's do this. Let's use the abbreviated versions of both chords. We'll do the A2 to that D with the open E. So the D with the open E again, just remember you don't need your middle finger. All you need is your index finger and your ring finger for this. All right, so we've got that high E string just ringing openly. Okay, so we're using two fingers there, index and ring. And then back to that A2 chord, your index finger just jumps back up, remember, just one string back up to that D, second fret, and your middle finger is second fret of the G, and you strum from the A string. Okay, so that's the A2 chord. So here's what we got, let's do this. Strum that A2 chord four times. Okay, now, Hop your index finger down one string to the G and add your ring finger third fret of the B and then strum from the D string four times. Okay, let's go back to the A2 chord one more time. So index finger, second fret of the D, middle finger, second fret of the G. to the D, jump your index finger down to the G, second fret, ring finger, third fret of the B, strumming from the D string. Alright, so now that we've switched back and forth a couple times, you might want to rewind that and just do that a couple more times before we try this next section. So what I want to do is just try strumming four times really slow and then we're gonna start on that A2 chord, okay? We're gonna strum four times really slow. And then once we, so we'll go, you know, one, two, three, four. And right when we hit four, we're gonna to try to switch down to that D chord really quick before we strum one again. Okay, so we're gonna go like this. Here, I'll, I'll just do it as an example. So here we go. Go really slow, so I'll count us in. I'll say one, two, three, four, and then one, two, three, four. Switch one, two, three, four. So the challenge there, now here's what the challenge is, and you can go even slower than that, all right? You can go even slower than that, but the challenge there is to keep the rhythm of your right hand the same. So your right hand never stops strumming. Three, four, switch chord, one, 
two, three, four. Because probably what's going to happen is you're going to strum four times, two, three, four, and then you're going to, uh, you know, take time to move your hand. And a little bit of that's normal. But what I really want you to do is just really focus on trying to speed your hand up. You know, you, you want to just take, like I said, look at the landmark to make it easy. You know, your index finger is on second fret of the D and your middle finger is sitting on second fret of the G. So your index finger just needs to move to where your middle finger is. And then you just got to pop down one more finger, your ring finger on that third fret of the, the B string. So if you really just think about your landmarks, it shouldn't be that hard to kind of get there fairly smoothly. So let's try it together. Start on the A2, so your index finger is on 2nd fret of the D, and your middle finger is on 2nd fret of the G. Now, when you, when you change chords, just remember, all your, your index finger is doing is moving down one string. Look at that. So your middle finger comes off, index finger moves down one string. That's all that's happening right there. That's a pretty simple movement. So that shouldn't take too much effort. The hard part will be getting your ring finger down on the third fret of that B string. Okay. So starting on A2, index finger is on second fret of the D, middle finger is on second fret of the G. Now I'll count us in, so come in on one with me. So I'll count us in at a slow tempo. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Switch. One, two, three, four. Okay, let's try it again, even a little bit slower. Okay, so back to the A2. Your index finger is 2nd fret of the D, middle finger, 2nd fret of the G, strumming from the A string. So here we go, a little slower even. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Switch. Okay, so you just want to do that as slowly as you can. You're going to have to put in some practice. I mean, it's, you know, it's a simple thing. Some people get it right away. Some people need to put in some practice and some time on it. But just keep rewinding that. And then when you're comfortable with those two abbreviated versions of the chord, you just want to add in that extra finger. So on A, you add in your ring finger on second fret of the B string. jump up to the D, your middle finger's added on the second fret of the high E string. One, two. Right. So, and also what you want to do is work on kind of, you know, strumming that four count a little bit faster, you know, so you, you know, you start as slow as you need to, but after you build up, you might get to this point. You might be like, one, two, three. get a little faster and you also want to just continually switch back and forth between the two chords to build up your hand strength and your switching abilities okay and this applies to any chords you know you can you can do the same tricks I showed you where you you kind of really visualize that fretboard up here and you say okay hey what are my landmarks here you know going from an E minor chord to a G chord you know don't worry about those chords right now but when you get to them you know or any other chords you just look at your landmarks and you find a way to you know visualize switching your fingers to that spot and you can also abbreviate the chords as I had done earlier with the A2 you know and then the D just leave that high E string open so you know 
the possibilities are endless once you get this basic routine down and you work on switching between your chords and it might take you some time to get but you want to keep that rhythm steady and then you know you'll be able to apply this to other chords and you'll be able to learn you know other different um, strum patterns and everything you know you'll start using more up strums and and so on hey thanks for stopping in and I hope this lesson helped you learn how to switch between some basic chords today um, if you're interested, please subscribe. I'll put a subscribe link up and uh, feel free to come back and check out some more videos. I'm also going to be designing a guitar course kind of geared towards beginner to intermediate players. That's very similar to what I did in this lesson here today. So check uh, you know, for links in the description. Check back for that. And I um, hope you have a great day. And I'll see you on the next video.